Shaber 1000 here. Um, there's something missing here. Not so much up here or down here, but right in this area. Alright, so today I'm going to show you how to put in a headlight switch in 2011 Chevy Traverse. Um, it's in there. It just somehow popped out, I guess. So, anyway, I just decided to get a new one. And um, I've never done one on a Traverse, but I've done similar ones. So, first thing we're going to have to start with is down here. There's a couple clips. I'm not going to be able to get, get you up in there to show you. Taking them out, I'll show you what they look like. But then once I get them out, I'll show you how they work. So, stick around and let's... Uh, Let's get this headlight switch in. Okay guys, so there's a couple of these here. I think there's three in this one. One over there. Looks like there should be something here. I'm not sure what that's for, but Here's those things. What you gotta do is you pull that center piece, your center, that little that knob there in the center. You pull it down, and then you can pull the uh, the uh, the whole plug out. Like I said, once we get it out, I can show you better of how it works. Now, if these things break. Don't think you did something wrong because they will. Not all the time, but most of the time, they'll break. They get old, brittle, uh, and they'll break. You can you can still buy plugs like this in the parts stores, and you can order them online and stuff. So I might be able to show you how this comes out. And then what I usually do is get something underneath there like that. And pull it down and now how this works and see these will give in and they'll go up in the hole okay these tabs on the side they'll give in go up in the hole and when you push that up in it spreads them out see it spreads them out like that and that's what keeps them in so uh, there's a lot of these on a lot of cars anymore and you know so anyway let me get the other two out we're gonna pull this panel down so we can get up in here. I hope I don't have to take this down out of here. Oops, this whole piece. I don't wanna take it down out if I don't have to. So hopefully I can get my hand up in there. Um, we'll just have to see. Um, these just clip in. There's, there's some holes over here on the side. There's one down the bottom, one on top. And I believe there's only one over here. But anyway, let's get this down off here and make sure we got the right switch first. Like I said, I'm just going to do the same thing and I'm going to drop that down out of there. Okay, guys. So what I wanted to show you, I don't think I got on film. Anyway, I pulled this off and this, this is the back of the switch. It plugs in here. Okay. And all you do is you squeeze this this tab right there you squeeze it and this will pull right out now I'm gonna shove this down through and I should be able to get it to go over in through there and through that hole right there and hopefully I can get the other one up in there plug it in and it just like I said they just clip in as long as the, there's no clips broke it should be all right so I'm probably gonna have to put you down and all I want to do is push that switch right through that hole and it should come right out the bottom. I don't want to take this off if I don't have to. It's plastic, so this was on the this was on the switch itself. So you know that might have been why it got pushed in. I don't know. We gotta get it out and check it out. So let me get this switch out of here. Okay guys, so what I did, I went ahead and pulled this off. All it does, there's two screws down at the bottom right here, which that one was broken, and that one was broken already. 
so apparently someone's had this out before for whatever reason because I'm seeing some stuff like this that's not factory so I don't know what was going on there but anyway this just pops out it just got these clips right here now I did move this out of the way because I didn't want to scratch it in case I had to take this piece off, which I didn't. So don't worry about that. So this, you just pop them out. Just grab a hold there, that's the bottom, pop it out. Same way over here. Grab right between there, pop it out. And then go up to the top. And these three here will just pop out. Okay, now we're gonna check this out. This is where the switch goes. So what I'm going to do is, this is the new switch. It's got this piece in here. So I'm thinking this switch has been replaced before because this one didn't have, see how this one's got that center piece in it, that decorative trim? This one don't. So I think that this went in here. Like that. Okay, so this is the old one. Let's not get them confused. Okay. Now, in order to plug this, in order to plug this in, all you have to do. I don't think there was anything wrong with that switch. If you just plug that in, just till it clips, and you're good to go. Let's see here. Okay, there's the parking lights. Here's our dimmer on this side. Okay. All right. There's our headlights, but for some reason, I know I have a headlight out here. That's what happened to this, apparently. <laughs> Uh, that's another story. I'll tell you about that when I put the headlight in. But this should be dimming those those lights up there. But they're not. So let's put the key in. Turn that on. All right. So they should dim now. Doesn't look like it. So headlights are on. That dimmer doesn't seem to be working. It is turning the uh, interior lights on and off. Well, let me check this out. I'm gonna plug the other one in and see if it dims like it's supposed to. Okay guys, so it's starting to rain. Um, this may only dim after dark. I'm not sure. I don't drive the car. Um, but, so anyway. I'll show you the, yeah, it's raining like hell now. Okay, so I got the headlights off. Now let's turn them on to they're, well, they're actually on automatic, but let's go ahead and turn the headlights on. See, we have a low beam out over here. So she thought if she would just turn the headlights off, you know, she wouldn't get pulled over for the headlight being out. But, I don't know, she said it was real hard to turn. But I, I don't know. Um, it says right there, automatic light control on, automatic light control off. And you just do that by turning this. So, anyway, like I said, neither one of these dim. Uh, they don't dim those, they just turn them off and on, they don't dim these. This could be, you know, maybe when it's, dark i don't know but anyway let's get this put in here i don't think there was anything wrong with this one it seems like it's turning just fine to me so 
let's get this put up in here. Um, I'll get you on the stand. My camera's getting wet. Let me get it dried off, and we'll put it in here. Okay, so here's our switch. And this just gets put in. Just gets pushed in like this. And you push it in until it clips in. Make sure both sides are clipped in. And there you go. Alright. Now let's put this put this back up in here. Make sure those tabs are lined up good, guys. Because they will snap off if you don't have them lined up. So let's make sure this one on the end is always a pain. So just make sure you line them up. Take your time. It is fidgety, but a DI wire can do it just fine. Line these ones up. Come on. There we go. Now let's line this bottom one up into those slots. There's the bottom one. Same with over here on the other side. I know you can't see it, but there. It's popping in. You can actually put your finger in here and feel if it started in. So. All right, now. And make sure. That everything's lined up. Pop it in. Okay, so I got the bottom in. Just gotta get this top one in. And we should be good to go. So let me do that. It's raining. I gotta get this one lined up here. So let me get those popped in. You get the idea, I hope. My camera's soaked, so let me get this dried off. Okay, guys, so if you got small hands, there's no reason why you can't do that from up inside. But my hands have gotten bigger over the years. So, I don't understand how turning this on and off like that would push it through, but it did. See, that, that way they, the lights are on automatic. Now they're off of automatic, so you would have to actually turn them on. So, but... I leave them on automatic for her. I still don't understand the deal about this dimmer, why it doesn't dim. Might be because I have the door open. Let's see. I don't know. It's turning these off and on, but they're not dimming. But the old one didn't either, so... Anyway, there it is. Uh, this thing, to put it back on, I can probably show you that. <laughs> Maybe. Okay. Now, we're just gonna, this up in here, there's a little notch. There's my light. There's a little notch up here that this goes into. It's that little fork right there. It goes up in here, a little notch. And then once you get it up in there, where it's supposed to be, then you can put your tabs back in. Yeah. Just like that. And you can put your tabs back in. And when you put these in, <coughs> all you do is Shove these up through and push them. Push that right in the center until it goes all the way up. So, find the hole that it goes in. Ah, I need 
both hands, really. Right, hang on a second, guys. There, did you hear a clip in? Then all I'm gonna do is push that knob right up in there, just like that. And that's what you do with the other ones. Make sure they're in the hole. So yeah, this has been out of here before. Same way with this one. Push it up through. And then the last one. Maybe I can get you a better view here. Maybe not. Can't find the battery in my light for my camera. Anyway. There we go. Push it up in, it'll clip in, and, and that's it. And it's all done. <clears throat> like I said, this thing, don't be afraid. They are in there tight, but to take it out, you just pull it out. See, and it's got those clips. And like I said, you might be able to get your hand up under there once you have that bottom cover off, but I just couldn't do it, so I wanted to show you better angles and then this make sure they're lined up top and bottom these ones should follow through give it a hit and there you go it's done so uh, yeah I don't know why that popped out of there but apparently it did so all right there you go I think it's shoot 2009 to 2017 so you're going to be looking at about this style you get the idea like I said this once you pull them two screws out that were already broke here's one here I'll show you see once you pull them out then this thing will just pop off you just pop pop and the same with the top pop pop and it'll pop right out of there so real easy monks say bye hi what happened anyway what what happened to the switch? I tried to turn it. Now it's really hard to turn. Like stiff. Well, that's weird because... And when I tried to turn it, it wouldn't do what I asked turn it, it to do. Well, it wasn't doing that. Oh, really? No, it was like it wouldn't... It well, we just go. spent $62 for nothing, so... Yeah. Well, that's was all right. It's broken? in. No, there's no clips broken, see? So why would it pop out? I mean, I didn't do that. No, I was turning it. Trying to. I was trying yeah, to. Yeah, but turn remember, it. when you're trying to turn something and your hand's slipping, what are you going to do? You're going to push harder to get a better grip, right? Mm -hmm. Remember, that don't go no further than that. That's all it does. Mm. So it does. So the lights don't ever turn off if I Yes, with this right here. Look, see that? That's your off. Look. Okay, oh. I'll show you. Up here on the dash, monk. All right. See, here's your switch. Up there on the dash, see it says automatic light control off. Oh. That means it'll stay off. And just go like this, just bloom, automatic light control on. So it doesn't turn and stay there. No, it don't. That's what I thought it was doing. Okay, it's, yeah, that's what I, I thought you thought. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that. Because uh, I did do that, but I didn't look up there. So yeah, it I'm tells like, you right Why there. Is this not turning See? Off? Like right now your lights are off. And they'll stay off. Okay? Mm -hmm. And you go like that and they'll only come on at night. So uh sometimes they'll be on in the daytime. But usually like if it's gloomy like this, they'll probably come on. Oh, so only there's your light sensor right up here in the dash. Mm -hmm. That's how that little thing there. Yeah. You guys me what that bulb is for? Mm -hmm. And I was messing with you and I said, somebody probably dropped a marble in there. Yeah. Oh, that's not a marble, I was kidding with you. That's your light sensor, it tells you how dark it is, like your lights have, mm -hmm. your birds up there. Mm -hmm. That's your light sensor. So when it gets dark enough, it'll kick your lights on for you. Sorry, babe, I need you work for nothing. Well, we're keeping that because there's nothing wrong with it. You should just take that one back. No, we're not taking it back. We bought it. It's in. So you want me to take it back out? No, not now. And put that one back in. 
No. No, we're keeping it. And leave that on there. So that's why stuff Take gets it away. lost, guys. <laughs> Take it away. Fiddlers, they sit here and play with this. And watch, when they don't pay attention, you know, it just, Falls. you know, they're like, well, dude, um, you know, I don't know anything about that. What was that? I don't know. And then, hey, where's that thing? Because, you know, the other one broke, and it's like, well, I don't know. I thought, well, maybe the clip broke, and that's why I couldn't get it back out. But it didn't break, so that's a good thing. It might break if I play with it, though. That's why you don't play with plastic stuff that's 11 years old. There you go. Okay, so. Anyway, it's real easy, guys. Any any uh, do-it-yourselfer can do it. It's not a problem. Uh, really, there's only two screws. So, you know, that's all you need to do. To pull this panel out, there's two screws. Ah, get this floor mat back in there. There we go. And that's it. I love my floor mats. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Well, they need clean. Yeah, they do. But they're easy to clean. I just take them to the vacuum place. And so I'm going to... I'll save that, but I doubt if I ever fix it, tell you the truth, because this thing's never rattled. It, it doesn't fall down, so... But if I ever get in there for some other reason I will fix it but it it should be fine because then it's got the three other clips holding this up in there too so and then you got the the five the three on top and two on bottom but this thing will never fall out all right guys I gotta go my camera's wet again so we'll see you soon I dried up. Shea Bear the myth the main ledge I'm gone for now monkey says she's out bye not bad for an ignorant guy huh don't do what I did <laughs> I'm an ignorant guy, but I did it. I fixed it. You're a brilliant guy. Mm -hmm. Bye, guys.